You're kidding, right? That's a no-go. I like that story. However, you know, we don't have time for it. Hey everybody, I'm Laurie Dew. Happy Friday and welcome to WWDD. Now Sally is not here. She left a little early today. She is in the middle of a big move. Moving in New York City is never an easy feat, so she left a little early. Good luck, Sally. We'll see you Monday. <laughs> okay, so guess what state has the most state pride? I'm gonna say Florida. Florida? What's your guess? Texas. Oh, Texas, 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 Florida. Florida. What do you think? Anything in the South. I feel like Somewhere that. in the South. Eh, you're all wrong. No. Number one is Montana. Wow. That's right. A new poll by Gallup asked people, uh, you know, who has the most state pride or how many people expressed pride in their state. Montana with 77%, then Alaska with 77%. Whoa. Then Utah with 70%, Wyoming 69%, Texas was number five with 68%. You will notice that most of those states are mountainous states. Interesting. With cold weather. <laughs> high altitudes, high levels of pride. Exactly. Now the worst places to live, quickly guess. New York. Yeah, I was gonna say New York. No, no, we're not. No? We're not even no. in the bottom ten. Rhode Island. Only eighteen percent of people said the that Ocean they had state. state pride. The Ocean State going down. Um, uh, Illinois was second, followed by Mississippi, well, Louisiana, and Michigan. So, interesting. I thought California would be number one because they always talk about how great they are. And but I feel like no. Michigan has a lot of pride. It does, especially in their school. Well. Yeah. You know what? Oh, Not according to the Gallup poll. Shout out to fellow Connecticutians out there. Connecticutians. Sure. Whoa. Why not? Okay, but you <laughs> meantime we're not on the top ten. No. All right. Um, Moving on. Rachel, what do you have? Okay, so uh, my story this week. Um, I'm sure you all use Google Maps, and there's a little Street View, you know, option. Well, now Google is going back in their archives and adding all their old pictures back. So of the six million miles they've carried, ah. you can now go back in time on Google Street View. So you can see what a road looked like eight years ago or mm. anything like that. I like that. Yeah. So I don't think it's launched yet, but they're putting it, but it only go back like eight or nine years. Oh, because I'd love to see my street in the 70s I where know. I grew up in Atlanta and what it looks like, like the now. Tower in the 30s, so it doesn't go oh. back that far, which it could probably, I guess, but it would take Depending longer. on when mm -hmm. it would have the, uh, the cameras, yeah. I, I guess. Yeah. Huh? All right. But go. I want to tell you a story about a zebra named Reyes in Mexico. A zebra named Reyes. Yep. Okay. And every day Reyes would go visit a donkey. And the two of them all of a sudden came together oh. and gave birth to what you're seeing on your screen now. This is a zonkey. <laughs> a zonkey? Yep. <laughs> Come on. Yep. Kumba is uh Kumba. Yep. <laughs> this Kumba. donkey this uh zonkey is Kumba. There are at some rare, it's very rare, but sometimes Where zebras and donkeys in Mexico, northern Mexico. All right. Um, also, they can sometimes make what they call a Z-donk. Um, uh, isn't that the same thing? A zebra and a donkey? <laughs> it is. Somebody's a Z-donk. Somebody in the comment section, I'm sure right now, is saying how they're different, but that's fine. And there's also another thing called a... Come on, come There's on, like come on. five different terms, so Google it yourself, I guess. That's the way to... Well, that's news You're you can definitely use, folks. Donkeys. <laughs> donkeys. They're out there. So are wolfins. <laughs> Whales and dolphins. All right, Wolfins. enough, enough. All right, <laughs> we'll see you next week. Have a great weekend. <laughs>